pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. Come on, everybody. <laughs> we just, I like, we, you know, we, we, we were infiltrated. I mean, what I've realized is we've been here millions of times. Some of us have been here millions of times. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the great thing about this is that all the people that I've connected with in the last six months are people that I feel like I've known forever because I have, mm -hmm. you know, people on the other side of the world, the other continents, and, and, and all, the, all, the, all these other people have disappeared. Yeah. And, you know, some of that's difficult because some of them are family and things like that. But we're so locked into this 3D. You know, the, the big thing is we've got to let go of 3D. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, I call it 3D. I, sometimes I think that sounds a bit tossy, but it's this reality is I've been saying to people at dinner parties for years, this isn't real. This is a, this is a hologram and everything else. Now, I'm really starting to understand that now. Yeah. It, it, it really is a case of just got to let go. Just got to let go. You've literally got to go and live in a different vibration. Yeah. And it's not difficult to do. You just, it's really not difficult to do. You just got to make a decision to do it. Yeah. It, that, it, now that brings back to mind what I was going to mention that you'd mentioned as well. One thing uh, that came up very early, but it was a, a couple of years ago after I'd had, um, I'd had an extremely intense ayahuasca experience, like enough to take me beyond death to zeros and ones. Right. And so I, I kind of, I died to myself, but it wasn't, it wasn't just dying because that's very common in ayahuasca, but it was like, it was beyond that. It was like being taken to nothing to nothing and afterwards I, I i just thought i got these messages surrender surrender this word surrender 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 and I, i've always been a control freak in my life i wanted to control everything because yeah. i thought that i knew better and i, and I read this beautiful book called <laughs> a return to a return to love and it's based on the the um the course in miracles but it's it's very nice and the woman said the reason that you don't want to surrender to God, to the universe, whatever you want to call it, is because you think that you know better than them. You think that you know what's better for you. But really think about it. You know, the universe knows what's better for you than you know what's better. And it was kind of like a moment I thought, you're right. Because I was thinking, what if I surrender myself and they get me to do something horrible? What if I lose all the money? What if I lose my family? What if I lose my house? What if, what if, what if, what if, you know, and, and, when I realized that actually when you surrender, and that's what I did, I, I started walking through the countryside, just literally praying and saying, show me what to do. Show me what to do. I surrender. That's it. I'm done. I surrender. And it, the most beautiful change happened. And it was a change for the better. And that's what I tell people is when you surrender, you're not, you're not putting yourself in danger. You're actually putting yourself in a beautiful place because the universe knows exactly what it wants you to do. It knows where your sovereignty is, where your power is, and it just moves you there. And it's it, my life is like a thousand times better since I surrendered. It's interesting you say that about it moves you around. So one one analogy that came to me about four or five months ago is that I was like looking down on this plane. Well, not looking down, but looking from from above, and um, I suddenly saw every every single soul spirit was all part of a eight billion piece interdimensional chessboard so all every single aspect of us you know the this version your higher self the one in 12d etc there's all these different versions of us and they're all being moved around precisely as they need to be in order to achieve the objective which i believe is referred to as god's plan uh -huh. and um once i got that and then you start seeing then you start seeing the humor, not just in you know what we're doing, the humor of the play that's being played out in front of us. You, you, God, you've got this fake President Biden, right? Played by at least two actors. You've got Boris Johnson, buffoon, you know, all these idiots, right? Just coming out with nonsense because God is literally using comedy to wake people up. Sure. It, it's just in the middle of all, all the craziness. Uh, but if you look around, you know, I say all the craziness, the death rate is down worldwide. <laughs> Less people are dying than ever. Sure. Sure. Yeah. To show it, to prove to these people. So I've been, I think I've been shouted at 
two or three times in the last year. Where's your mask? Put your mask on. I'm like, oh God, you know. And it's when I've not been, when I've just not been in the right state of mind, and it kind of they just appear out of nowhere and then shout at me and then I look at them and I have to go right, okay, yeah. <laughs> but even that's comedy. Sure. Yeah. 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 It's all comedy. I mean, just just sit, watch it. Looking at somebody sat in a. I can't wait to get them all in the room and then play a video of them sat in, sat in their car, putting a mask on, you know, driving with their mask on, looking around like this. I said, that was you, you fucking uh, idiot. I know, I know. You're the reason this took so long. <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's it's hilarious. It, it always, you know, I think, I think that history the whole history has been manipulated to to keep telling us what's what's happening especially in metaphor and you know you know the story that magical gift of the emperor's new clothes mm. is where we are right now we are the little boy shouting but he's naked and everyone's going oh you no know, he's here look, look at that clothing it's beautiful and we're watching presidents fall up the stairs fall down the stairs how we're, can you fall up the stairs three times i know and we're, we're watching you know, somebody who's running the country who isn't even capable of getting his hair to lie flat. You know, what's going on there? I mean, what is going on there? It, it's just... What's about going on here? It's, it's nuts. <laughs> and we, we just kind of going, excuse me, excuse me, they've got no clothes on. It was going, how dare you? Disgusting dare you. that you say that. How dare you? How very dare you? Yeah. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm a, my brother won't even answer messages. My brother wouldn't open the door to my mum when she took round the present for her grandson because he was terrified of catching the COVID. Yeah. And, um, you know, I sent, him a, I sent him a message. I said, listen, I know you think I'm nuts, but at least read this article by a world-famous virologist who says this is a fucking big scam. At least read it before you go and get something injected in you and you, with, that you don't even know what's in the ingredients. Sure. Well, chimpanzee, I mean, chimpanzee. It's, it's good for you. It's good for you. Well, you know, there's a guy who came around to I, where anyone who comes to my house has to walk in. I say to them, if you're wearing that mask for me, you can take it off because I, I'm not bothered. And, and nine out of 10 take it off. But one guy came in and he said, no, no, I'm wearing it for me. I said, okay, super. So he's standing in my kitchen talking to me. In the kitchen, which is like a restaurant, isn't it, really? It's a kitchen, yeah. not that different. Here in Spain, you know, you've got to wear a mask all the time unless you're in a restaurant. Yeah. In a restaurant, nothing happens. So um, he's talking to me, and he put his, put his glasses on. His glasses start to steam up. He said, I, I, I'm going to have to drop this down to my mouth. And, I, and, I, and out of respect, I didn't say anything, but I just thought, do you think that that's doing any good? Take the fucking thing off your mouth. What what do you think it's doing? Having it over your mouth, other than making you look like a tit. There's common sense just gone. Yeah. And I said, you know, hey, if I make you a cup of tea, you could take your mask off. Then we're having a cup of coffee like in a cafe. You know, I said, oh, for goodness sake, just get a few wheels moving around. That's all I, that's all I want, please. Just a few wheels, cogs moving. Well, we, you know, we've been detached. And in, in many ways, we've been forced into becoming creatures that don't have to think for themselves or creatures that don't have to do anything for themselves. Um, there, was that, there was a film a few years ago called wall -E about a little robot. And he was on the spaceship of human colonists that had left the earth and they all got really fat and they just didn't have to do anything. And then he goes down to earth and clearing away all this rubbish. And, and it's like, that's, you know, that's it's, it's, it's simple stuff like, you know, realizing that you need to connect to the earth every day grounding i'm on a grounding mat here mm -hmm. I've got a grounding sheet stand on the grass the difference when you when you start when you're aware of it and you realize that plastic shoes for example are a weapon against you stop wearing them sure. um it, it's life-changing but n n people aren't even they look at you like you're nuts yeah it's woo -woo, isn't it it's woo -woo world people look at me like i'm insane and i said take your shoes off stand on the grass i've been actually saying that for 10 years stand on the grass they're like what why yeah. Because you're not connected to the earth. Why do you need to be connected to the earth? I, I saw a video the other day of a lady who said, look, I'm going to show you how to really connect yourself. And she put a copper wire around her waist 
and mm. buried it in the ground and lay on the ground. She said, if you lie here for half an hour, when you get up, you will feel like a million dollars. And I thought, well, I'm going to give that a go. That <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But, but I, you know, my first, my first reaction was <laughs> copper wire around your waist. Put it in the, and I thought, is this a joke? But no, no, she was serious. And yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait there. I'll show you something. I've got a... <clears throat> I have some copper wire here. There we are. Oh, like a... Thick, right? You sit in the pyramid with this. 500% it, it, more. <laughs> wow. wow. Copper. Copper. It's amazing. Wow. You know, I've, I've got... Um, years, years ago now, I, I discovered Organite. You know the... Yeah. I've got organite everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. I, yeah. We've got organite all over our house. I've got a cloud buster in the back that I made. Massive organite block. Yep. With the copper tubes coming up. Yep. We, we've got it all. You know, when when you when I look back at all of the things, the changes we made, like putting a water, you know, um, a reverse osmosis water filter, so we don't drink the water, which is calcifying our pineal gland, all of the crap that they put in. The amount of changes that we've made. That for us are just bog standard now. They're just we live like that. Anybody would go, what? What do you want? No, the water's beautiful. I, I mean, one guy, one technician came and said to me, "I'm telling you now, if they didn't put um, chlorine in the water, it wouldn't quench your thirst as much." So you know, if you want your thirst quenching, you've got to have a bit of chlorine. I'm thinking, <laughs> where, where did you learn that? Where did you learn that? I, I, I was at a uh, party a few years ago in Ireland and, and I was stood there going this country has the worst it's the wettest country in the world with the worst water in the world you can't water water everywhere not a drop to drink right worst water system in the world highest levels of fluoride fluoride in the world most docile population because of that yeah. Yeah. and the highest levels of chlorine and one of the guys at the party worked for the water board from Galway and I was telling him this and he was coming out with all sorts of shit to justify the crap that they put in the water yeah. I just I looked at him like are you are you're just fucking mad. You know, you're so overeducated and arrogant that yeah. you, nothing outside of that paradigm. It's like you said, you know, the emperor's clothes. It's like the it's like the when the Spanish Armada came and they people had never seen ships before, they couldn't see the ships. That's right. And you know, the guys, the controllers of this place have, have worked, worked this out for centuries. Absolutely. Thousands of years, right? Some of us, for some reason. Uh, have not been afraid to step outside the box and go, I, I don't care what you say. I mean, organite, I, I make, well, I got involved with making organite years ago and I got a piece of it in the kitchen and I got one of those, uh, when you buy, a, when you buy a herb plant from the supermarket, I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but they, they die like the next day. It doesn't yeah. matter how much you feed them or whatever. You have to, yeah. they, they, I think they're designed to die. So I deliberately bought this coriander plant and then I did a bit of experiment. And I've sat it on this organite plate. It's the two weeks later, it's like this, it's like a bush. Mm -hmm. It's got endless coriander, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and that's just from a piece of, or any, look, if you don't know what organite is, look it up, you make it yourself, it's really easy. Yeah, it's easy, I made it, I made it myself. You order stuff off eBay or Amazon and you've got it. You know, it's like the, the, the pyramids you were talking about. I remember watching the experiments they did in Russia with yeah. fruit, with fruit and veg. Yeah. The size of the vegetables that they were yeah. creating inside, they were, they were like 10 times the size. Of yeah, I was I was four foot two before I got this. I'm five. Foot <laughs> Very good. It won't be about a week. <laughs> but next another six months, I'll be about seven foot. They, well, be careful because obviously you might have to buy a new house and then that and that. Ooh, that's, that's well, I think we'll all be. You know, I'm, I'm already thinking about. I'm already planning building a house. Right. I want to build a geod. I want to build a Hobbit house, but a geodesic dome on top. Uh, I mean, it's getting to the point where. We've got to get organized and just go ahead in the way that we want to go ahead. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I well, think if you build, if you want to build, have a look at what's called Aircrete. Aircrete, air I know about Aircrete. In have fact, you heard it? Yeah. my clients make it. There we are then. So that, that's the, the, you can, and you can do it at home. It's very cheap as well. Very cheap. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, um, go on. Question Sorry. for you. Like, yeah. look, um, what do you think? What, what do you see in the next this year? What do you see? <clears throat> Big event, wake up, get on with the new world. Okay, okay, yeah. You know? Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh huh. But <clears throat> it's like you said about the Akashic. In fact, 
when you were talking about the Akashic Records, um, it's interesting that you say you, didn't, you mentioned no dates, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's been one of the things about all of it, because time doesn't really exist. So mm -hmm. everything comes together when everything's ready. Yeah. Simple as that. And um, I'd, if, I'd like to play you one of my poems, if I can. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, I'm pretty proud of this one. It's, um, and it's got a bit about that. It's not a long one. So I'll play it and then talk about it. There and back again. Maha ka wa ta hi. He ta wa ka ha ma. There and back again. Do you see? Multi-dimensional beings are we. From the energy of the first light, through the calendar of the light of days, with the veil down, we were in a haze. One to ten and back again, in the darkness we held each other tightly, until the light came. The dragon blood, the Taki, the Akashic potentiality, at the speed of memory, we came there and back again. From the I am to the we are, we came far there and back again. Very nice, Mark. Very nice. Very profound. Well, yeah, cheers. I mean, you know, you mentioned a couple of things in there, like um, in the chat. I've lost you. Hang on, where are you? Where's he gone? Where's Gordon? I'm still here. There he is. Um, from the I am, you said, to the, from the I am to, I said to the we are, you said to the... I know. No, right? At this time of knowing. And I've been, and I've been saying this to the kids because... So one of the good things about not being in school is you're not getting your head full of stuff. It's just about knowing stuff now, yeah. you know, and it's uh, going for walks and knowing how to start a fire, not to burn things, you know, how to light a fire, how to find food and how to grow food. And you, we just, actually, we do know this stuff. If you tap in, you know it all. Yeah. And, that, and that's also why I put the Akashic potentiality in there because it is a potential. It is written, everything's happened, but it's kind of uh, when you, it's, it's still potential depending on how you react at that time. Yeah. So it's still potential, even though it's already happened. Yeah. At the same time, which is why it's called there and back again, because the distorted light and the undistorted light, the, the demon infested world and the, and the beautiful one that we're going into are both going in opposite directions at the same time and time doesn't exist. So, we're in the middle of it, but we're, we're already at the other end of it and we're at that end of it all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah. actually brilliant. And, and if you are vibrating at a high frequency, that kind of gobbledygook starts to make sense. Sure. sure. Can't explain it with your 3D language. No, and that's when, when I'm talking with the, the emissaries, they, they have to give me, they give me images more than words. I create the words, but... They give me lots and lots of images. And I asked them this question. I said to them, when, when you came to me, why did you come to me at that specific point? How did you know that that was a specific time to come? And they said, uh, I said, had you come before? And, and not being able to reach me. And I said, no, we came when the moment was right. Because this, they, they, what they did, they showed me a, a block. It wasn't a timeline. It was a block. And, and there was a little light in the block. And they said, we knew that we had to come at that point because that was the point in which you were going to be receptive to us. So, you know, they said, we, you know, there isn't any false starts, like, you know, where they are. Everything's, it's, it's all, it, it isn't, you don't have to run along the time. You just have to drop in. It, it was bizarre, but it was showing me, but that's, that's what they were saying. When I was asking them, um, you know, when is all of this going to, to, you know, is there, is there a time frame you can give me? And they said, no. They said that the way that it works is that they keep reassuring me where everything 
is going exactly to plan. That's what we yeah. keep like, <laughs> it, the same message has been from the beginning to the end. Everything is going to plan, but they said sometimes it can be speeded up. And they said it, it's all dependent on the vibrational frequency that's being created. If, you know, it, therefore, if we, if we excel, if we unite, if we start to love and accept one another, we're going to speed that up. That's all. And, but they're saying it's, it's hap- it, whatever happens, it's going to happen. There is no stopping it. There's no going, it's not a, ba- you can't go back. It's yeah, no, it's, only I, wrote, I think I wrote that down yesterday. It's like, it, 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 it's, um, it's a one-way ticket. Yeah. 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 That's what it keeps saying all the time. There's only, we're only going in one direction, but if we want to, we can speed it up. And that's what their job is. Their job is to help to oil the wheels. That's what they say. We've got to be, we've got to oil the wheels. That's what we're doing. That's what you and I are doing. Everybody else is oiling the wheels to make it go faster. And it's collaborative because, um, you know, I got an email from a subscriber know, about six weeks ago and it, and, it, and it was kind of cryptic. She said, she said, I don't actually watch you or anybody, but one of my friends does. And I got that's what she's saying. I um, said, I needed to write to you. And, and uh, basically she said, I'm just an ordinary person, nothing special about me. But over the last 10 years, I've been communing with these star beings Mm-hmm. One's called Oliver, one's called Gordon. I can't remember his name as well. It's ordinary names. And, um, you know, not like uh, Zod the Impalo. It's just like, you know, normal names. And, uh, and, and she really got me. She really got me because she said, they know that you go out and look up at the stars every night, which I do. So I was like, whoa. And she said, next time you go out, look up to the left. And there's a star, the one that's the star that you feel connected to talk to it in your mind without speaking or being feeling like you have to go oh you know same prep just because we're all equal and communicate with it and ask it to move left and right up and down and see what happens and I, I went and did it and it, it started doing it i was like fuck i'm talking to stars now <laughs> and then she wrote me a couple of weeks later saying they've been in, they've told me that they've communicated with you now and wow. she, said, she said, it's just practice. Just keep practicing. And then the other night I was out and I, was, I found the star again and I was communicating. I can't actually hear the words, right? But they are communicating. I'm feeling it. So, something's going in on a level that I can't put into words, right? Like language, like codes, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just said, uh, could you just do something like, big showy offy for me and then this other star appeared out of nowhere and it was only at about five thousand feet and it was just bright white star and it was just going across like that and i was like ah. and then i was like oh somebody else has got to see this so i went and got my son and we watched it and then it went psh, 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 just like that amazing mm. and that's happening all the time it happened with a tree the other day and i had a friend with me and the tree just whoa I was like, it almost blew me over the, 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 what it was saying to me it was like and it was, but it was so loving but huge and powerful mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, it's a wonderful place to be yeah it's a wonderful it's a wonderful life that we've got ahead of us because if, if this is like how we're supposed to be and actually and that it's just hit me you know in actual fact what is the difference apart from the fact i'm big ugly and i've got a white beard and a little kid you know i've got five little kids that were all like this. You take them for a walk in the park, they see magic everywhere. Exactly. Right? And it, we were like that when we were kids. Yeah. And it all got bashed out of us. Yeah. But we're finding that inner child, that inner beauty, that, that, that God energy is just, it's a, I don't know, you caught me on a good day. So I just feel full of it today. I'm Absolutely. Absolutely. very, very, very chipper. Chipper, exactly, and and that's uh, you know it's, you know we have ups and downs. We have ups and downs. Yesterday, I don't know what was going on with me, but I just didn't feel very good. But you know, I had a you know I had a healing uh, faith healing session um, two days ago with a, with a guy called Stuart. I don't know whether you saw him on on. Um, um, he's a he's a healer. He, he heals through Jesus. But he's from Gateshead. He talks like that. He's like read Jordan. Hey. 
Hey. He was on, he was on, um, what's he called? Oh my God. I can't remember. Bald Head does lots of videos. You've been on his show. Have I? Yeah. What, uh, you know, who was it? Um, and it doesn't matter. It's not important. <laughs> anyway. So um, he's, he's got this incredible uh, history of healing people, like in saving their lives and doing all kinds of stuff. So I thought I've had, I've had for a year, more than a year, pains in my tendons down here, pains in my arms. I've, I've tried all kinds of therapy and lots of people have helped me and I'm taking bush flower essence at the moment, which is excellent. But I thought, hey, I'll give them a go. Why not? Charge is 50 quid. Okay. So That's cheap. That's cheap. He, he's, he's great. He's absolutely great. And, and he did the session and he, he charged me after. So, you know, that's like a trusting. So I'm talking to him on, on the phone saying, right, well, you know, it's really late. It was quarter past 11 my time. I said, I'm just about to go to bed. But I said, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. 20 minute session. So as I sat down and connected with him on Skype, I thought, I feel better already. I, I feel, I, I've noticed the pain's gone. So he did his session and he was praying and, and silence and all of that. I had this burning up the side of my head, burning, 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 burning on my shoulder, burning everywhere. Like somebody had a hairdryer blowing up. Um, and afterwards he said, so that's it. Uh, you've been healed by Jesus. How do you feel? And I said, well, to be honest, I feel pretty good. Like, <laughs> and, and it, it reduced. I mean, it was, it was still there, but it reduced. What I'm noticing is that as the days are progressing, it's getting less and less and less. It's virtually gone. And, what a beautiful skill and he's this normal guy from Gateshead used to be a bad lad and and he's and now he's going around healing people and and what I see is that like, what you're, you, what's happening to you what's what's happening to so many people like it's like we're being whooshed into a into a five dimensional you know where you can heal people he is a he's a walking med bed we don't need med beds he is the med bed mm. you know and I think and I think this is where we're going to be, where we will be our own everything. You mm -hmm. know, we won't need to, this is, these attachments to things. And this is what you were talking about with, with even, you know, as, as we get, as we kids and we grow up, they knock the shit out of us. And one of the things that they do is they give you that you, you look at a tree and you go, wow, what's that? And they go, son, that's a tree. And in that moment, you stop seeing the tree and you see the label. You know, and, and that's that's what what's happened. Whereas, really, what we're, we it's our own sovereignty is understanding that we are everything, and we can be and do everything. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Mm. Incredible. Mm. So, sir, we've uh, we've been talking for an hour. Wow, that went fast. Mark, I want to really thank you for for spending the time with me and sharing this and and uh, I'll. I'll I know I'll put it on my channel and I know you can put it on your channel. I split it into two so that people are going to have a coffee in between. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, but you know, um, sometimes it's a long time to, to listen for an hour, but fantastic Mark. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a really good day. Well, I want to, you know, I want to thank you. I mean, you uh, uh, were there early um, in this journey for me, this particular one. And um I haven't forgotten that, and you brought a lot, a lot to my life, and uh, and I know that you're still doing that with lots of people, and uh, it's just amazing to have a grown-up conversation with another man about stuff like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, maybe five years ago, I wouldn't have quite been talking on that level, but hey, what what the hell? It beats the football. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this, we're in shit a bus now, Mark. It's shit a bus. Like, we've got to go for it. We've got to go. Oh, for it, man. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care anymore. Let's just do it. Let's have it. 5D, let's have it. Let's have it. Come on. <laughs> okay, Mark. Cheers, Gordon. Take Have care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.